Hey, it's your girl AC. We about to roll a Toka Fonto Leap. Let's do it. Ingredients. So first, gotta have that dog. And of course, gotta have that soca. Nothing else. So how I like to roll my blunts is like a blunt. I don't use paper. I just use leaves. I don't like cigarellos. Fuck cigarellos, okay? We're gonna take some of this saw. Uh, smells good. <laughs> I usually roll about probably a gram, maybe like a gram and a half. It kind of depends on the blunt. Like if I feel like I need more, I'll add more. But if I feel like I need less, I'll take out some. So it kind of just depends. I might need a little bit more. <laughs> just in case. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to break this up. Please don't leave the stems in the weed, it's going to break um, the blunt. So just make sure to take that out. You don't have to break it down like too much. Like if you have a grinder, that's good. Um, but also you can just kind of leave it a little bit bigger. I personally don't use a grinder. I like chunky weed. Also grinders are heavy to carry around, okay? And I personally have way too much stuff in my toka bag, okay, to be carrying around another thing. So grinders, no go. But you know, do you? <laughs> if you can't smell your za while you're breaking it up, you got you got some. What's it called, bruh? Boo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You don't want that. I personally like sativa. It's I like that mind high rather than that body high. Um, in college, I would smoke and then go study. So my I can't be sleepy. Okay, I need to be focused. So we gotta take our token. We gotta open it up. Wow, this is really soft. Like, wow. I want you to know that this is half of me. All right? I told you I'm tiny. Okay, this is this is my head. Right now it's going down to my waist. It just needs to cover my legs. This product right here, you're getting what you paid for. Dang, it's so soft. Oh. This, this is how you know it ain't stale. Now that we have our toka, I'm gonna take my handy dandy trusty scissors and cut me a little piece off. So the way I like to cut my leaves, if you never rolled a fonto leaf before, there's a stem right in the middle and I try not to get um, where the stem is. I kind of like leave it like half side, half side. So I, We'll cut it on, I'm cutting on the left side right now, and I'm going to cut in a diagonal line, and then cut a little bit, and stretch it out to see. Yeah, that should be good. And then cut again, diagonal. This is the puzzle piece. So this is as like much as I'm gonna use. Not a lot. No. Still have a whole bunch left as you can see. Good. 
perfectly back in the bag. Okay, I'm gonna use this for later. So you have to wash your leaf once you cut it, and I like to pat dry mine. Now that we have that all patted dry, we are going to pack it. Actually, let's pack dry a little bit more. Okay. So now we're gonna pack it. I like to make sure that when I pack my weed, I like to have the ends a little bit empty because I know that weed's gonna fall out and I already have some set aside so that way I can fill in the empty gaps. Also, when you smoke from, you know, whatever side you're gonna smoke from, you're, uh, once you get to the end, you're not gonna hit all that. So you're actually wasting weed, so you might as well leave a little bit empty. So that's why I like to do that. Try not to pack it too much to where you feel like you can't roll it all the way and just make sure that it's even on both sides just so you don't have an uneven blunt. Okay. Now, how I like to roll the, what I've been taught from my previous senseis is to make sure you pack it in, tuck it tight, roll, then lick. So this is the technique that I will be showing you today. So I feel like, hold on, let's get it nice and tucked in there. Okay, now that I have it dry dried, I'm going to tuck it in side. Make sure it's tucked tight because this is how you can get like a loose blunt. And just want to tuck it in like it's a bait. Don't be afraid to cut it a little bit. Now that I have it rolled on one side, I'm going to lick it so that way it can stay nice and tucked so I can roll the other side. You want to make sure that you have a nice amount of saliva <laughs> on it so that way it doesn't get unstuck. And just keep on tucking and rolling. It's not being my friend right now. I feel like it's practice makes perfect and it's really an art to like when you be rolling those pearls I'd be so proud of myself like damn I did that I did that <laughs> okay this is a masterpiece at the end of the day you made this creation alright this is what I mean by you gotta make sure it's tucked a baby because it should be wanting to come out. Okay. Okay.
when I'm licking, I like to lick, hold it for a second, make sure that saliva is on there. And then I like to take my um, upper lip and kind of like curve with the blunt so that way it can kind of just stick. If that makes sense. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much, it looks nice. So now we have these ends. As you can see, there's not the, there's no weed up in there. This is just kind of the leftovers. And I like to cut about right here. And this one I'm gonna roll just a little bit tighter, just because it is an end. Okay, and now we're gonna take this end. And I take this end as well. Now, let's say you have to do a little surgery on your blunt because you left a little stem in there. Like right there. And it kind of poked out. <laughs> Told y'all not to do that. Now you know why, but that's okay. We can do a little quick fix on that. So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of my leftover leaf and I like to make like a band-aid. You know, quick little fix. Still gonna pull. And I'm just gonna cut that a little bit. And you can either do this. Some people also like to put a leaf on top of their um, uh, a paper on top of their leaf. <laughs> so that can also fix it, but I'm just gonna do this. And again, just make sure you tuck it and roll. So there you go, nice little band-aid for you, okay? It's not no open heart surgery. I can do a little bit of something, something, but yes. Now, you know, I'm gonna take my lighter and just wanna make sure that you light it. So that way it's sticking. I mean, you like to run your blunt a little bit, okay? Now, I usually like to find like the smallest hole. It's this one and the biggest hole. That's the one I'm gonna light. And tuck that in a little bit. And now we get high, Hey, okay? You know, as long as it pulls, it be doing something. Ain't no pearl queen, but at least you know that I can roll. Mm. 